What is AV-1? Is it a camera made by Canon? Is it an airship constructed in Czechia? Is it a forgotten character from Nier Automata? Well, it's all of those things and it's also the name of a codec that the upcoming Intel R graphics cards are going to support and it's going to change everything. Okay, maybe not everything, but still, it's a much bigger deal than many people might imagine at first. And in fact, AV1 is something you can already use without even knowing it. Because the software engineers at YouTube have finally been competent for once and added AV1 support into YouTube, which you can select from your playback options, which is pretty cool actually. And with an AV1 compatible graphics card like the upcoming ones from Intel, you will be able to also encode and decode on your PC using this codec. Why is that a big deal? Well, because AV1 is supposed to be the codec of the future, whatever that means. And they claim that this codec will be able to finally dethrone H.264 after over 20 years on top of the codec game. Which I know, I know, doesn't sound too interesting, but it's going to help you if you're a content creator of pretty much any type. Because AV1 allows you to have more details in your video footage without having giant file sizes. So you'll be able to export a file as AV1 via your favorite editing software and voila, you all of a sudden have much smaller file sizes without compromising on the quality. Which simply just means you're gonna have more hard drive space for other stuff, whatever weird stuff you do store on your PC, you creep. But it's not just exporting video it's gonna be good for. If you're just simply using OBS for recording or streaming, it's also going to come in helpful. And from early results, we already see exactly what kind of difference Intel AV1 makes compared to H.264 and other popular encoders out there. This puts this graphics card in a very interesting situation because even if the performance isn't going to be great, and from what we know so far, it's not going to be great, you might still find some use in buying one just for the AV1 support. So this could be the perfect streaming card for many people out there who want to take advantage of AV1. Though the thing is that... The graphics card industry is super competitive, and by the time that Intel announced the victory by having AV1 in the graphics cards, Nvidia and AMD could be doing shots in the other room whilst implementing AV1 into their own upcoming graphics cards. So while right now we don't know if it's going to be worth it or not to pick up an Intel Arc Alchemist GPU just for AV1, well, it's still a pretty cool technology, and hopefully what Intel did here is kickstart its adoption in the industry as a whole. So Intel, even if your graphics cards are kind of bad, Hey, at least you did something. So let me know what you think all of this down in the comments below. And hey, while we're still here, and you want to help me make even more awesome videos in the future, then the best way to do that is to check out our Patreon. Because even just one single dollar a month truly goes a long way, while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, LKB, Nick Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much for what truly goes a long way. Daniel's gonna find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.